ഹലോ ചിൽഡ്രൻ എ വാം വെൽക്കം ടു ദി ന്യൂ അക്കാദമിക് ഇയർ ഹോപ്പ് ഓൾ ഓഫ് യു ആർ സേഫ് അറ്റ് ഹോം ഐ ആം മിനി യു ആർ മാത്സ് ടീച്ചർ ഡു യു ലൈക്ക് മാത്തമാറ്റിക്സ് യെസ് വട്ട് ഈസ് മാത്തമാറ്റിക്സ് മാത്തമാറ്റിക്സ് ഈസ് എ സ്റ്റഡി ഓഫ് നമ്പേഴ്സ് പാറ്റേൺസ് ആൻഡ് ഷേപ്സ് ടുഡേ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ഡിസ്കസ് അബൌട്ട് വൺ ഡിജിറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ടു ഡിജിറ്റ് നമ്പേഴ്സ് ലെറ്റ്സ് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് അവർ ഫസ്റ്റ് ലെസൺ ഓൺ എ വെക്കേഷൻ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് do you know which is the smallest one digit number yes good one is the smallest one digit number which is the largest one digit number yes nine is the largest one digit number then which is the smallest two digit number 10 is the smallest two digit number and 99 is the largest two digit number all of you look at the board yes here smallest one digit number is 1 largest one digit number is 9 then smallest two digit number is 10 largest two digit number is 99 that is the digits from 1 to 9 are one digit numbers and the digits from 10 to 99 are two digit numbers now we have to express a two digit number in different ways students read this number 35 here we have to express this number in different ways look first one 335 is equal to 3 tens and dash ones 3 tens and dash ones that means 3 tens and 5 ones good 3 tens and 5 ones then look second one two tens and dash ones two tens and dash ones here given two tens but in the question there is three tens that means here one ten changes to ten ones ten ones and this five ones that means 15 ones here answer is two tens and 15 ones understood look third one 30 plus dash 30 plus good 35 is equal to 30 plus 5 then next one 5 plus so answer 5 plus 30 5 plus 30 then this one 10 plus 10 plus dash plus 5 10 plus 10 20 20 plus yes 20 plus 10 is equal to 30 then 30 plus 5 35 then last one dash ones how many ones make 35 good 35 ones make 35 35 ones make 35 okay good students do you remember addition and subtraction yes i will give some questions to check your memory ready yes all of you take your notebook and pencil and write the following questions what is 5 plus 3 5 plus 3 then 12 plus 5 12 plus 5 30 plus 9 30 plus 9 then some questions of subtraction 7 minus 7 yes 30 minus 1 finish good look here what is 5 plus 3 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 12 plus 5 is equal to 17 30 plus 9 39 then what is 7 minus 7 7 minus 7 is equal to 0 then 30 minus 1 is equal to 29 29 now we can observe some questions in this chart students all of you read this questions what is first question a number got by adding 4 to 20 a number got by adding 4 to 20 that means what is 20 plus 4 20 plus 4 is equal to good 24 24 then what is second question the number got by subtracting 
from 30 6 from 30 means 30 minus 6 30 minus 6 what is answer 30 minus 6 yes 24 24 look third one the number with 24 ones the number with 24 ones we know that 24 ones make 24 answer 24 then next question the number with two tens and four ones two tens and four ones what is the answer yes 24 then what is the last question the number with one ten and fourteen ones one ten and fourteen ones in the previous question we learned that one that means one ten and fourteen one means yes 24 students look here all answers are same what is the answer 24 abinan and his friends went to mass festival market to bought some items all of you look at the price list yes balloon price for one balloon is equal to five rupees price for one ball is equal to 20 rupees price for one car is equal to 16 rupees here some questions are there what is first question abhinan bought a balloon and a ball how many rupees abhinan bought a balloon and a ball what is the total price look what is the price of a balloon price of a balloon is equal to 5 rupees 5 rupees 5 rupees plus what is the price of a ball yes 20 rupees 20 rupees 5 plus 20 what is the answer 5 plus 20 yes go 25 5 plus 20 is equal to 25 rupees good then look second question abhinan gave 3 10 rupee notes how much would he get back how much would he get back 3 10 rupee not means 30 rupees 3 10 rupee means 30 rupees that is 30 minus what is the total cost 25 30 minus 30 rupees minus 25 rupees what is the answer yes 5 rupees 5 rupees understood yes all of you write this price list and uh, this question in your notebook children have you ever seen a calendar yes this is the calendar of july 2019 how many days in july yes there are 31 days in july how many months in a year you know how many months in a year yes there are 12 months in a year which are the 12 months january february okay good march april may june july august september october november and december all of you look at this chart students look at this chart these are the name of months and here number of days yes january how many days 31 february 28 or 29 march yes 31 days april 30 days may 31 days june 30 july 31 august 31 september 30 days october 31 days november 30 days last month yes december how many days in december 31 days now look this here these are the days of the week days of the week okay read sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday now look at this calendar here this is the calendar of july 2019 july 2019 look first one here july first july one is monday july one is 
Monday. Then July 11 is Thursday. July 11, Thursday. Then July 27, which day? Look, July 27, Saturday. Saturday. Look, next day, July 30, July 30, Tuesday. Tuesday. Hello kids, I am Candy, a calendar. I have 12 months in a year. They are January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. The months of January, March, May, July, August, October and December have 31 days. The months of April, June, September and November have 30 days. Do you know? February is a special month. It has 28 or 29 days. The 7 days of the week are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Children, which days are Fridays? Which dates are Fridays? Okay, say 5, then 12, 19, 26. Then look, which days are Mondays? Which days are Mondays? Yes, 1, 8, 15, 22 and 29. Look this, which days are Mondays? 1, 8, 15, then 22 and 29. These are Mondays. Do you know what is the relation between these days? You look 1, 8. 8, 15. 15, 22. And look 22, 29. What is the relation between these numbers? Yes. 1 plus 7 is equal to 8. 8 plus 7 is equal to 15. 15 plus 7 is equal to 22. 22 plus 7 is equal to 29. That means on moving down, the number increase by 7. The number increase by 7. That is the relation between these dates. Now, let's remember all the points that we have learned today. Say what are the points? Yes, how to express a two-digit number in different ways. Then next, yes, about price list. We write some questions about price list. Then, yes, about calendar. Good. I think all of you understood today's class. Now, I will give some activities for you. Okay. Bye.